Hey crew, what's up? We're going to go through uh, some of our rehab exercises. This is a part of our lower extremity or lower half baseline. Um, it's going to be worship to plank. And uh, many of you yogis understand the worship position. What we call worship is child's pose. There's going to be some slight modifications through this. Uh, but realistically, what we're going to try and do is extend the spine. We're going to try and decompress specifically the lumbar spine. We're going to create flexion and external rotation through the hip, which is really important for generating that nice stable dynamic of the spine and even the knees through a very um, fully uh, capable hip. Okay, so that's going to be a huge part. But some secondary things of importance are going to be the thoracic spine extension as well as the arm flexion that we can get into our overhead position that affords for not over, only taking care of our lower half, but really having things merge up in the upper half as well. When we set this up, we're gonna go hands and knees. Knees are gonna be wide to create some um, space for the hips. My knees are gonna be roughly underneath my hip when I start this, but my hands are gonna be out, uh, I would say a good six to 12 inches in front of my sight line here. From this position, I can point my toes, I can keep them tucked, it's just up to your preference and how much you want to catch. If I'm tucked with my toes, I can kind of work my arch as I'm doing this. So again, a lot of things that you can catch. But early on, if you're just trying to really focus on your spine, tuck your toes, really press your heels, hips to the sky as you're dropping your head down. What you can do here is either shift lightly side to side through your hips like so you see there's not a whole lot of shoulder range of motion but there is hip range of motion or you can twist down and through with your shoulders start hitting some of your lats some of your pec armpit structures as you go through full uh, thoracic extension from there you don't change any position you can pivot right up to your hands and knees again and then drop down into a plank. When we're doing our plank, we wanna make sure we hit glutes, abs, shoulder blades, head, and make sure we're creating more of that straight line positioning where all of them are integrated. Hold for three to five seconds, come out, drop right back down into this position where we're nice and straight line there. The worship to plank is a very good baseline uh, rehabilitative thing that will give a lot of different types of people, people with low back pain, people with hip pain, people with knee issues, people with mid back pain, people with shoulder issues. Why? If you looked at that, you saw a lot of different structures getting put into a position that they rarely find in everyday living. So it's a great way to recalibrate your tissues, a great way to lengthen uh, the spine, which is chronically flexed and compressed in, in a lot of different ways. So uh, it's a great exercise, but it also teaches how to use the hip, how to take it through full range of motion. Um, so that's available to us to protect our knees and our low back and really set the, uh, the template for stability from the hip up as well as from the hip down. Hopefully that helps. Good luck and keep moving.